Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to wish you um, a happy Christmas. A little bit late because it was yesterday, but anyway, happy holidays in general and New Year. I think I'm in time, I guess. And today's video is not about the holidays, but I guess holiday makeover. Especially when we get to the end of the year, we want to change. And as you can see, I've changed again, once again. And I've made my hair dark. And this time, the, the model that I had in mind, well, it's not really a model, it's more of a person that influenced this look is Kris Jenner. I mean, I like the Kardashians and I sort of have the eyebrows going on, the kind of eye um, cut, the shape of my eye. Um, and I don't have their hair, they have thick, voluminous hair, but I'm sort of more similar to Kris Jenner's hair type. And I've always liked Kris Jenner's um, um, hairstyle and she's the consistency that she's pulled it off with uh, for many years and um, I also like the fact that you know it's different from everything else that we see usually everybody kind of um, wants to have the long voluminous hair like the Kardashians or any other model or any other actress for that matter but very few go short and Sometimes I wear it down like she does with little bangs, but then I saw one of her picture on Instagram. And she had it like all back and stuff, and I really enjoyed this. I really also enjoy the dark color. I'm always uh, battled between blonde or dark, but you know, I just go back and forth, so it'll, it'll be fine for this um, season to be dark, and maybe during the summer I'll want to be uh, blonder again. So to, this is my change. I've also done uh, a huge makeover with my friend Grace and I've already I have already done a video with a previous makeover and I'll link it in the bottom bar and that was Grace Kelly and I'll also link um, her uh, um, website links and this is another Grace and she is a friend of mine, she's been a friend of mine for many years and um, well you know she's one of those women that we all should admire, at least I admire because she the, she's the mother of two young uh, boys, well not so young, they're like in their 20s I think, single mom and uh, a workaholic, obviously she has to work and she gets up at 4 o'clock in the morning and stops uh, like finishes working at 10 and then has the energy to go out so she's very energetic and um, she's very strong too but unfortunately when it comes to her hair and makeup I can't say uh, much about it the the hair she paid a lot of money to have the kind of blonde highlights that were big in the 80s and stuff and that was just terrible and I told her that kind of blonde, ashy blonde type of hair is no longer possible nowadays. So I modified her hair and I also um, did a little bit of makeup on her. So this is a picture of her before. And this is a picture of her after. So as you can see, she looks like a totally different person. The blonde made her older looking, um, washed out, obviously she wears no makeup. Her esthetician did, did her eyebrows like, oh, just terrible, thin, 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 like lines basically. So I tried to do my best with her eyebrows. Even though with her eyebrows, I wanted to go a bit thicker but she's not used to it so I'm gonna gradually do that and I think for a start it's okay to make him a little bit darker and just a tad bit thicker but I didn't want to exaggerate then of course the makeup I used 
um, everything lightly even though she she said it, it, she didn't feel comfortable with all that makeup on her. I used on her face the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua which is so thin you know but when you're not used to wearing any makeup of course anything seems kind of heavy. The eyes, um, well, you know what, I'll just list all the products on my blog and show you the before and after pictures on my blog. I just wanted to make this video to um, talk about changes and changes for the better. Of course, women sometimes make the mistake and they get stuck in this rut of like either blonde, like too blonde like she did or maybe too dark or too many highlights and always keep in mind that there's there needs to be a balance for everything okay now you might be more daring like me and always want to change but always change try and change for the best and then once you change don't get stuck in that change you might want to be consistent with your look but you always have to update it you still can have the highlights that were big in the 80s so obviously for Grace I did more of it of an ombre look and um, I'll explain on my blog how I did it. And as far as uh, my hair is concerned, I did more of a solid color, which I wanted to look neater. I wanted to have more contrast. Um, I also um, look very good with the ombre look, and I also did that a few months ago, with, but I had longer hair. So please bear in mind, this isn't a general note, I mean, you know, to always um, update your look, but considering your skin tone, your features, your eye color, everything. And don't make the mistake of plucking all your eyebrows. And I know, I mean, if you guys follow me, you know how I feel about eyebrows. And we all know in the YouTube community that eyebrows are the frame, like they frame your face. So please don't make the mistake of doing them real thin. No matter what they say, thin, thin eyebrows do not suit anyone that thin, okay? So, um, if you do make these little mistakes, try and change bit by bit. But anyway, I'm very happy the way Grace turned out. Um, her hair is amazing now. I think I gave her like 10 years of her life back to her. And um, she's just such a strong woman. And I said, you know, um, if you're going to pay that much and not be happy, I think you're happy, but then, you know, your, your hairdresser is the one that should tell you, like, look lady you know <laughs> like this hair is a bit too blonde let's try to change but sometimes hairdressers don't you know they they don't do your interest they do their own interests so anyway uh, let me know what you think of my hair what you think of Grace's hair I think we both look great I love my dark hair I'm gonna embrace it for this season and I adore how Grace came out and her makeup looks amazing. Uh, her hair is just like gorgeous. And of course I did everything and I just love doing these makeovers. So um, probably in 2013, I'm gonna do a lot more of them and maybe who knows, make it into also uh, my job, like a second job because I enjoy uh, doing this. And uh, that's it. So anyway, I wanted to wish you a very, um, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. I'll be back in these days because I have uh, other videos I want to do. And that's it. So I'm sorry again for waiting so long for, to make a video, but I'll be uh, back um, on the go and running very soon. So once again, Happy Holidays, and I will see you very soon. Bye.